So today we're going to cover the RTX 4090, a long awaited review for us, especially for me. And this is the Gigabyte Gaming OC model that we got here today. Let's go. So as I was just saying, we are reviewing today the Gigabyte RTX 4090 Gaming OC edition. And this is probably one of the more basic if you can even call it basic, models of the RDX 4090 from Gigabyte. But there's nothing basic about it. It's a huge GPU, it's four slot wide, and it has three gigantic fans. So Gigabyte does claim to have some innovation about this card. First thing is that they have an enhanced new lubricant for the fan bearings, and it's supposed to bring you to roughly a double ball bearing lifespan while keeping it much quieter and I can say from the testing of this GPU it's extremely extremely quiet actually most of the time it doesn't even go uh, above 63 64 degrees and obviously it's in an air-conditioned room but it's roughly around 24 or 23 degrees Celsius here in the room other than that Gigabyte kept the fan orientation so there's two normal spinning fans and one reverse spinning fan and this is supposed to help with airflow now if you recall in a previous Gigabyte and Aorus models, we had a little tiny RGB LED strapped to one of the fan blades. This time Gigabyte went with an LED diffusion ring behind the fans, so you get roughly the same effect, but you don't have any LEDs or any wires attached to the fans, making it much simpler and easier to balance as well. And I think it looks great as well if you're into RGB. And before we go to the performance side of things, I want to talk about this. This is a tiny solution and I really like it. Gigabyte has already been on the chopping block with these cards like the 4080 and the 4090. They're very big and their PCBs are starting to crack around the PCIe connection. But it's not an issue that Gigabyte has ignored while manufacturing these cards. This is a mount that connects directly to your motherboard standoffs and this hugs the GPU and connects really really nicely and I really love this solution and obviously you're going to need some sort of support for any of the 40 series GPUs with these gigantic uh, heat sinks they're heavy and it doesn't matter if it's from this manufacturer or that manufacturer you're usually going to want to have some kind of support for a four slot GPU in your system. Other than that, everything is pretty standard. This is obviously an OC model of the GPU and it comes with a core clock of 2535 MHz compared to the 2520 MHz from stock factory clocks. 15 more MHz is not going to make a real difference here. And as the card it replaces the 3090, it has 24 gigs of VRAM GDDR6X and it's obviously amazing for most things other than gaming like content creation and 3d workflows and it's probably the best card you can get like a consumer gpu now we're going to move ahead to the gaming benchmarks the test system is based on a 13900k with 32 gigs of ddr5 memory we tested the 4090 4080 and 4070 ti just to have a rough spectrum of gpus and know how they uh, rank and stack against each other and even though everyone says there is no benefits in 1080p sometimes there are benefits in 1080p especially if you like to run with ray tracing on and we're going to look at that right now
So all in all, the 1490 is an amazing, amazing GPU and by far it has a great gap between it and the one card that's below it, the 4080. And uh, we see some use cases that you could benefit from the 1490 in QHD resolutions, especially if, if you're more of a single player type gamer that likes to play on the highest settings with ray tracing included and everything boosted to the max. The 1490 could give you some extra headroom, especially in the future where uh, the technology keeps advancing and you have a strong and beefy GPU to keep up with anything that comes up with it. Personally, I wouldn't advise anyone that's not planning to play at 4K resolution with a high refresh rate screen like a 120 Hertz TV or a 144 Hertz monitor like the Omen I've been using here today because it's simply not worth the price difference between the 4080, which is already a really expensive card and yes, sometimes today you can find a deal for a thousand bucks for it or you could get the 7900 XTX at roughly the same uh, cost. But the 4090 is probably the biggest champion in terms of value because you really get a big, big performance gap compared to anything below it and there's nothing like it if you're planning to do 4K gaming. And that's that for the Gigabyte. RTX 4090 Gaming OC. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please put them down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe and ring the bell, it helps us a lot and like the video also helps us a lot. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.